Hello everyone and welcome to Limenius Lab. This is Val and on today's video assembling the universal controller mount. So as you might have guessed a universal controller mount is meant to accommodate every type of controllers or whatever you want to fix to your glove. Maybe because we don't provide a controller mount for it yet or it's an odd shaped controller or I don't know. The thing is as with all things that are meant to be universal, they're not that great. And this is the same with this thing. Jack of all trade, master of none. But the option is there if you want to build one. So this is the frame, the latch and the buckle. Those are the three 3D printed parts. Buckle is ambidextrous, frame and latch are both right-handed and left-handed. You have to choose in the part library. Three 3D printed parts, one rubber band, 5 mm wide, 1 mm thick, maybe 1 inch diameter, 3 nails, 30 mm long, 2 mm diameter, as usual. Um, the tools are going to be the same as for protoglove. Step 1. Rim the holes. So this is pretty much the same as every other controller mount for the first 3 holes. Pivot and for the pins. Make sure to clean the parts where the plastic blows out a little bit, especially here. Next, you don't need to rim that hole. It has some play. It's intentional. This one, either you leave it as is, I do recommend you do rim it because it's going to be for reinforcement metal pin to reinforce the part. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of force on here. There. Cleaning again. Oh, one more hole to rim. This one. It goes quite deep. You don't need to go all the way. Just start it so that you can hammer in the nail. Next step, we're gonna need a little bit of nylon strap. Quite useful stuff. I use it a lot, especially for the harness. And flatten it with a ruler. Cool it down quickly and shape it properly. You should need around 15 centimeter at most. Yeah, you shouldn't need any more than that. It's not exact. There, clean. Fold with super glue so that it doesn't slip out. It's quite tricky to do, but once you've done it a few times, it's not that hard. The rubber band. We're gonna use it as a grip pad. So. It's gonna go on the two V blocks. That's what I call the V blocks. Okay, we're gonna glue it right there, like this. Oh, come on. Super glue again works really well with rubber and 3D printed plastic. You're doing it quite a bit. I like to spread it around a little bit with another screwdriver. Right on the edge first. Then. Slowly. Right, perfect. Do the same thing on the other side. Touch down on one side. Slowly apply. Make sure you don't stretch it, otherwise it's gonna pop out. Scissors. And like this. Works really well. Flat blade against the side. So we have our grip pads installed. Now we can put the strap, the tab, facing outward so that when we put the controller inside, it's gonna fold like this and it can't unblue itself. The other way would be forced like this and it's not as solid. Pushing this through, then with a flat screwdriver, a small one. It's not. Can push it. I'm gonna chamfer the edges like this. All right, it should be good now. It's gonna fit right side. If there is a controller mount that already exists for your controllers, don't hesitate. Go for that mount, not this one. This is only a temporary solution to those 
We don't have a controller mount yet. The plan is to support every type of controllers. Only problem is I don't have every kind of controller, so I can't test every controller mount. So in the meantime, I'm not leaving you empty-handed. This is as good of a solution as I could find. All right, we can start to grab on it. Perfect. Let's attach the latch. It's gonna go like this right here. For that, we're gonna use one nail. We're gonna cut it maybe 15 millimeter at most, and we're gonna keep the other part. So this one, keep aside, it's gonna go here, and we take the end, and this is what's gonna go here. File, take the length approximately, cut it. That should be good. A dab of super glue inside the hole. Putting this side. File the excess. Again, you don't have to put the pin. It's just to reinforce if you want. Now we can put the nail here into this hole. So I didn't rim it all the way down. It's just so that I can hammer it down. Good enough. From the top, all the way back, through far hole through the middle hole, and back out the front on top. And that's about it. Now, to mount it on the glove, same as any other controller mount, line it up, nail in. All right, set the angle, set the pin. Perfect. Testing with a controller. So we want it around this position, like this. It's too tight, too tight. Test number two. Put the buckle on the knob, pull the lever until it clicks like this, and it works. You put on the glove, like the harness. All right, and there you have it. The universal controller mount. Good thing with this is that you don't have to put it the way I did. You could put it through the loop, like this, or whichever way you want. Basically, you can hold on to any shape, even a hammer if you want. That's how I tested the first one with a hammer like this. And it worked really well. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you want to support me or this project, you can spare a few bucks a month on my Patreon. It would help a lot. You can subscribe to this channel or join my Discord to share your ideas or if you need help building a glove. All links are in the description. More on ProtoGlove very soon. Thanks for watching.